Hi, I'm Richard McKenzie, co-author of Microeconomics for MBAs. This video module is going to be uh, concerned with a firm's uh, cost structure. Uh, in this course, we are going to be concerned with, uh, with how much should a, a firm produce. Uh, accounting statements are useful in uh, describing how much a firm has incurred in the way of costs over the previous quarter or the previous year, but they're not very good at talking about the nature of cost over a range of output. And we need the nature of cost over a range of output in order to address the question, uh, how much should a firm uh, produce? Now, in talking about uh, a firm's cost structure, economists distinguish between uh, two time periods, the short run and the long run. The short run is a time period during which uh, at least one factor of production is fixed. That is, it will not vary with the output level. Uh, the long run is a time period in which uh, all resource inputs are variable. That is, they can change with the output level. This video module is going to be concerned with the firm's cost structure uh, solely during the uh, short run, during a period of time in which at least one factor of production is fixed. This means that in the short run, uh, we can distinguish uh, two uh, types of, of costs. Uh, we have a, a fixed cost. That is, this is the uh, cost that will not change with the output level, and we're going to define it as total uh, fixed uh, cost. The other is variable cost, which we will define as uh, TVC. Now, this means that uh, total cost, total cost is going to equal uh, total uh, fixed cost. Uh, plus total uh, variable uh, cost in, in the short run. Now we could, in fact, uh, develop a firm's cost structure in terms of, of totals, total fixed cost, total variable cost, and, and just a total cost. But um, uh, by convention, we have developed um, um, cost structures in terms of average costs. And this means that, that you have something called the uh, average uh, fixed cost, which we can designate as AFC, and average uh, variable cost, which we will designate as AFC. Uh, the AFC is going to be equal to uh, the total fixed cost, which of course is not changing, uh, divided by uh, the quantity. The average uh, variable cost is going to be the total variable cost uh, divided uh, by the quantity uh, that is produced. Now we can uh, describe the average fixed cost uh, fairly uh, simply. Uh, we know that if the numerator is going to remain constant, and if we uh, talk about expanding the output, then we know that this ratio is going to go down uh, uh, continually. If we move to a graph to describe the average fixed cost, uh, then we would move, we would have a curve that looked something like, like this, uh, average uh, fixed cost. That is, we start out at one unit where the average fixed cost is equal to the total fixed cost, and then this ratio, uh, average fixed cost is equal to total fixed cost divided by the quantity. Uh, this ratio has got to go uh, down continuously, and it will con uh, continue downward and will approach the horizontal axis. It is asymptotic uh, to the horizontal axis. This is the average fixed cost at an output level of Q1. This is the average uh, fixed cost and output level of, of Q2. Uh, uh, we know that the average fixed cost times quantity Q1 is equal to uh, the average fixed cost uh, times quantity Q2. Why? Because uh, we know that is uh, uh, the formula. Uh, 